Hello everyone, this is Valhalla Gaming TV, and we're back with Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. This is episode 5, and I think we're going to go get that Sword of Grom, and we'll see what's up next. I think we might be able to finish it this episode, if not, definitely in the next one. Alright everyone, let's get back into it. Alright, here we are. Let's go to that, let's go get that Sword of Grom. Let's see how cool it is, and we can actually fight some stuff. Alright, not fighting. Dillian gave her the strength to pass the warrior trials, and she saw a way out. To leave her past behind, and become a warrior in Dillian's clan. Go back, go back, go back, go back. The sword is tainted by the gods of darkness. Leave it. No. He left it here. He wants me to take it. You will pay a price for this. That's not good. But years later, with Zinbel's parting words still haunting her, the darkness came back with a vengeance. A plague. Dad? Everyone suffered. My father was not supposed to die like this. This is your fault. <laughs> you brought this plague to us. <laughs> you have blood <laughs> on your hands. Where are we at now? They're coming for you now. They're coming. They're coming to get you. Hold your heavy strong. Hold it. Hold the heavy strike. Must remember, she can focus it's inside of her. Ooh, we can do a power up now. Come on, mother trucker. Boom. Oh, okay. I gotta do it earlier than that. She's scared. She's scared. Defend yeah. Heavy strike. There we go. The focus is coming back. You won it. Oh yeah, look at that. You're stronger than him. Oh man, that's bright. Okay, they Thank want me to go. focus. I took him out. In the sea of corpses, the corpse waved through itself over the ones I loved. The ship broke up under them. The ship that had sailed from the land of shining fields. Their memorial stone is sacred. Come not here in the sun. Come not with a sword. Come not crying over a naked corpse. Come not with disturbed minds. A lot of hands around here. Getting handsy. Wow, look at that. I don't know where she's trying to get to. Is there any escape? Do you hear the suffering, Senua? Does your precious gift of sight let you see the souls that rot here in this sea of corpses? Do you feel the blood running cold on your skin? Do you hear their endless cries? Do you smell their putrid wounds? They were once brothers, sisters, and loved ones. And look at what you have done to them. All because you were a coward, because you banned from your curse instead of facing it. When you turned your back on the Father Zimbel, you turned your back on the gods and let the darkness wreak havoc on your people. Why must they pay for your heresy? Yeah, can it? Get him. Ooh, that guy's got a big axe. Come on, big boy. Ooh. Oh, 
I've been training for this for years. Alright, let's do it. Now this focus thing is awesome. Come on, shield man. I got these counters down. He's gone. Got him. Where'd the big axe guy go? Who is it? Galena. Where are you? Do you hear, Sinoa? Do you hear the voice of your mother, Galena? She calls for you, Senoa. Go to her. Answer her pitiful call. took her life and it will take Mama! I need you! Help me! You're both you dead. You both surrendered to the voices. And your dear the beloved mother was powerless against the darkness when it came for her. She too had a sight. She too doubted the gods and let the darkness infest her. But she didn't run. She escaped the only way she knew how. She gave her life to the gods. If only you had done the same, the world would have been spared this horror. It's not too late. She's calling for you. Why don't you join her? I don't know, man. I got things to do. Ooh, two axes. Come here, mother trigger. Got him. Another guy. Focus now. Oh, there's that big guy again. Oh, crap. Come on, Sinua, get up. Oh, she's tired. Oh. I blocked it, but he knocked me down. Got him. Let's go for the shield guy. Tenu is awesome. We got more guys. Whoop his butt. There's a 
a lot of guys now. Real shield guy. Why do you still fight off? Maybe you two should suffer with your brethren in this rot and let your blood seep into the seas and the rivers of hell. Isn't that what you deserve after all you've done? He's another big guy. Give the darkness what it wants, let it swallow your soul and destroy all that you are. Mm. Why are you fighting for someone who is already dead? Just look around you. What hope is there for him, even if his soul could be rescued? Do you think he would thank you for what you have done to him, to his friends, to his father? <laughs> Come on, send you it. We got him. That was a lot of enemies. Almost didn't make it on that one. Seems like a terrible place. Let's not get stuck here. There's his mom. Oh, there's her mom. Go talk. I can't fight it anymore. Not on my own. Where are you, mother? I want to be with you. That night, she gave up on her world to follow in the footsteps of her mother, to go to a place where the darkness couldn't reach her. Senua, look at me. Calling for me. We've lost so many. And I've lost my father. I can't lose you. You said it. I have blood on my hands. I didn't say that. You've done nothing wrong. Simba was right. Everyone will suffer. Zimbal is a fake. He is a hateful, bitter liar. He's poison. And his words still haunt you. Who do you trust? Him? Or me? Do you still believe in me, Senua? In us? Come back to me. Please. Don't let this darkness come between us.
hardest battles are fought in the mind. He gave her the sword with which to fight in more ways than one. And she gave him her word, never to surrender. All she needed was a little help. A little hope. A pretty awesome looking sword and looks like Damascus. I think we made it through that area. We still gotta get across the bridge and go to Helheim though. There's the tree, so I guess we can head back. Maybe we can actually make it across now. Into the big Trojan horse. So far this game is really cool. The story is awesome. I like all the lore that's connected too. I wonder if we gotta go through the door over here. That's a big door. Two big doors. Oh, I think that's a lore stone. There's the first one. I will tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafner, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafner hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. And from the evil in his heart, he turned into a dark creature. A dragon. A dragon. That's pretty cool. You're moving towards your death. I think we can go that way. The bridge is good over there. Oh, that guy's hanging out. Yeah, I don't trust these bridges. Let's get off it. What's watching? Helheim. Garm is its name, 
and it knows you are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. <laughs> How would you say Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it. The beast is stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. How's my sword useless here? It's named after the beast. Ain't that some bull crap? All right, we gotta go stay in the light. Where's the next area of light? All right, let's run. All the way to the torch. Don't be fooled. The beast is still here. No, it's a trick. Do you hear that? Don't fall for it. It's me, Senua. It's so loud. It's not her. It's so full of hate. It's a trap. I just want to help them. Tell me what to do. Your father wants them to go away. And he only hurts me to silence them. But he's gone now. But they always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. They won't be with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't Do you them. see them? <laughs> Do you see their faces? <gasps> He's coming! Senua! Help me! Help! Get me out of here! Don't go! Where has she gone? She's disappeared again. She shouldn't be here. She escaped the darkness. She, she took her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill of fear I don't talk much about her father Zinbel I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her but it doesn't matter now does it oh are we gonna lose the torch don't drop it she'll have to go under Oh, I have to go? I think there's light over there. Here we go. Move quick. We need to find another torch. I think there's another torch over there. She's stuck. She hasn't found the rooms. Oh, there's a torch over there. And we can light this place up. Oh, there's a lore stone. Rian the dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. 
He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good-hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rhea would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rhean reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rhean go in search of Fafnir. All right, let's light this place up. It looks like one of the symbols is down here. Let's see, where is it at? Probably in here. There it is. Light it up. Can you see that? Where are they? She can't see them. She doesn't know hidden in plain sight. She has it. Alright, we got that one. Where's the next? Two more to find. I can feel the two more to find. Why are you doing these pointless rules? Time. Do you this The symbols are pointless. They're meaningless. Your mother's here. What if you connect them and there's nothing behind the door? See, Dilly. What's up here? Oh, there's a lore stone. All right, we're gonna have to be very diligent when we go through this stuff. The dragon Fafnir is so large and deadly that it would be impossible to kill him face to face. But each day, Fafnir crawls across the heath to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit in the dragon's path and lies in wait in it. When Fafnir slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd leaps from the pit, and Fafnir sees his killer. He warns Sigurd that the treasure will lead to his death, as it led to the death of all who owned it. Sigurd replies that death comes to all men, and every man would want to be wealthy until that day. And he takes the treasure. All right. Let's go open that door. Looks like we can... No, we can't keep going up. That other area when we went down to the basement, though, I think there is an opening to go up again. Go look over there. Yep, we're back here. There's the rune. And was this the turn we went? Yes, okay. So let's see if we can go up. Keep moving. She's too slow. It's not going to burn out. The darkness will come again. Light it. Oh, there it is. She has it. She did it. She's done it. We got one more. Place. It reminds her of the isolating, suffocating darkness that she lived through as a young girl. Imprisoned in her room at night. Her faces in the dark, coming through the walls. She once thought everyone could see them. I mean, that's what children say all the time, isn't it? That there are monsters in the dark. By the time she realized that only she could see them, her father, Zinbel, could see the monster in her. Gotta make sure to find everything we can. Oh, 
Oh, that's the door. We're on the other side of this now. What's this way? I think it just leads back around again. All right, maybe we gotta head back into the darkness some more. Or straight ahead. Let's try this area. Creepy voices. Yeah, I think this is where we gotta go. Let's light all these torches. The more light, the better. What's over here? All right, I ain't dropping down that yet. Let's try this area. The light will save her now. She can sense it. What she She's lighting the torch. <laughs> it's not gonna help. Send. Fight. The heck. Playing him out. You want it. Holy crap. Behind you. Oh. Watch out. Focus. Focus now. There we go. Holy crap. You can't go anywhere without your light. Take the torch and move. That was close. Okay, looks like the symbol's over here. Light everything up. It must be on the floor. There it is. There it is. You have all friends. Do you feel it? The beast is crawling into your mind. Searching for weakness. It found your mother. And used her to trap you in here. Did you see her die? I don't remember. I was only five. They told me she escaped the darkness, that she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? Get her mother out. Oh, no. Where is her mother? It's just another kid. It's a trap. The beast is coming. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Run, send you up. Get to the light. Don't look back. Come on, lady. No. Oh, what was that? No. 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 You've lost him. It's over. The darkness is back. You've lost him. You've lost him. Get to the light. Without his head, you will never bring his soul back. His fate is sealed. Now it can see you at your weakest. The time you suffered as a child at the hands of your father seemed no one pined for Dillian. Do you remember the darkness, Senua? The beast is bringing it back. Did you leave me? This darkness. It's 
spreading. Father's keeping me away from the others. Away from Tilly. I won't give up. I'm not going to rot in here. I'm going to find Dewey. Now we gotta get down to the bottom and get his head. But he goes down anyway, you dropped it. I was way down there. Did it land in like a pool of something? Some dirty water. Got a gate. Or a fence down there. And a staircase. It's a way down. It's gotta find it. And we got a torch. Alright. Get moving. We gotta look for some more of those lore stones too. The walls got all stinky. Oh, wait a minute. Do I got to go through that? Hopefully that doesn't put out my torch. Keep it away. There we go. Anything around here? All right, let's go back this way. Got another rune door. And we got some guys to fight. Counter. Got him. He's gone. Double block. You even know who you're messing with? Focus now. This focus ability is awesome. Is that all of it? Grab your torch. That gate closed off when we were fighting. Oh, people be hanging out. Oh, there's stairs that goes up. We probably got to look at this in a certain way for that to pop up. I think we got to go out the other side. With that torch on, I think it probably makes a shadow or something. Let's go back out here and see. Watch the water now. Oh, there it is. Nice. Let's go get through that door. I didn't see any lore stones. This is a dead end, it looks like. 
All right, let's head through the door. Oh no. Oh, the, looks like there's a torch down there. All right, here we go. Run, run, run. There we go. But she wouldn't listen. He was doing his best. She never, ever listens. Why didn't she listen to him? Trying to help her. He was trying to save her from the darkness. Zimbel was right. Zimbel was trying to save her from the darkness. But she wouldn't listen. She never disappeared. And now everybody is because of her. Why doesn't she learn? She Where she learn? She doesn't understand. Now the darkness has Dillian's soul. And it will take oh, Lordstone. it and never give it back. She can search and search, but she will never find it. She's let the darkness in. It's the end. The darkness will take her like it took her mother. She can't resist. Pointless even trying to retrieve it. Although Sigurd kills the dragon, Rian wants to keep Fafnir's gold all for himself. Go Rian also wants the strength and wisdom of the dragon, so he drinks its blood and asks Sigurd to roast Fafnir's heart for him. Sigurd does so, but when he touches the roasted heart to see if it is done, he burns his finger. Without thinking, he licks his finger and tastes the dragon's blood. In that moment, he understands the language of birds and hears them talk nearby. The beast knows. The beast knows exactly where she is. She's falling for it. She sings for their tricks every time. Plays into his hands. No, the lore stone. Sigurd's new found power lets him hear the birds speak. And they say, Sigurd should eat the heart himself. Rian wants Fafnir's gold. Rain, eats Fafnir's roasted heart and takes Fafnir's treasure. And he embarks on a new quest to ride to Hinderfell and find Brynhild, the Valkyrie. Looks like that's part of it. I think we have to, oh yeah, we have to light that up over there for a shadow. But if I go through there, the torch is gonna go out. So where is another place to light it? Come on, anyone just climb up. All right, let's run through and see what happens. I hope I'm going the right way. Push the bridge. Oh no. Was that the way I was supposed to go? Didn't look like it. Alright, let's try it again. I think that was the way I have to go, but I have to push that bridge down, but it didn't look like it went down. Let's try again. There it goes. Get up. What are you doing? 
I just had to run into it. Here we go. Okay, I don't know where to go. Let's go back to the light. There's a torch thing right there. Oh, did the water stop? No, I didn't. Where do I find some fire? This is all a dead end. All right, let's head back and see what happens. Oh, okay. I pushed the bridge down. Maybe I have to go back around. So let's grab the torch and see if we can drop down or something over there. I remember seeing that bridge earlier. Oh, there's another way. This must be it. Now we should be able to cross through here and light the torches. What's she doing? There we go. She's lighting a torch. She's making light. She's making a fire. She's got light on the other side. She'll be faster, faster. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. What is she doing? Stop, stop. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. She's going to swallow you. Where is she going? Fast and fast. Keep going. I think the best part of this game is those uh, voices in your head. Where is she going? It's really cool how that works. Faster, faster, keep going, keep going. There it is. All right, let's go through the door. Dillian. She can't help but think of him. And a guiding flame in a world so black. I'll grab that in a sec. The longer it burned, the more she convinced herself that there was nothing beyond its reach. How little separates us from what we fear. Keep the torch alight. All right, I think this is the last lore stone for this area. Sigurd learns that Brynhild had once disobeyed Odin, and so he had her punished, stuck her with a sleep thorn, and put her body within a rampart of burning shields. Only a man who knew no fear would ever reach her. But like me, Sigurd is fearless, and passes through the flames, just as I did, and wakes the sleeping warrior girl. She teaches him the secret wisdom of runes, namely victory runes, ship runes, runes for persuasion, runes for truth, runes for healing and health, runes for perception and power. Like Sigurd, the greatest young warrior of the north, you must learn the secrets of the runes to fight amongst the gods in hell. Interesting. Let's get moving. It is dark. Oh, there's a hole. That looks like a good idea. Let's go. That was quite the drop. Oh, I missed this grabby hand. Gotta go find that head. Don't let that torch go out. It's coming. Come back to me. Come back. Do you hear me? I hear you. Come back to me. I'm coming for you. I'm coming. Oh, the torch is out. Come on, send you a move. No! 
I didn't hurt him. Let's see if we can figure out his attacks. Be nice and patient. Where'd he go? Must find him now. I think he's over there. There he is. Oh no. Quickly get up, they're coming. Get up, send him it. She dead. Alright, let's try that again. Only the power attacks work. You bet I got the light. nothing did he run Stabby time. People think of evil as an unnatural, invisible force, and so invoke the gods for protection. But evil can come from the hand behind the gods. A familiar hand, cold and cruel. He tried to fix her with his rituals. Kept her trapped in that hole. She couldn't say which was worse. The darkness. Or the monster that her father had become. She couldn't fight them both. And so she left. Headed for the one ray of light that shone down on her. If she had stayed. She wouldn't have survived, but maybe Delian would still be alive. I'm so sorry, my love. She will save his soul, even if this time she can't save her own. She got Dillian again. Forgive me, Senua. 
I know you have no reason to trust me anymore. But believe this, it was my mission to make you hate. To hate the darkness with a passion so great it would focus your mind on this quest. time ago oh, no. but you have conquered your darkness at every turn you deserve to see behind the veil of darkness but take me to he the wants mountain. to trust you as deep as we can go no. i won't stand in your way she has to trust him you will not survive what is in there Get up to the stairs. All right, everyone, that was the end of episode five of Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Uh, next episode, we'll definitely be finishing it and we're gonna go fight Hella. If you guys like this content? Leave a comment below. Let me know how I'm doing. Hit that like button so more people can see these videos. And go ahead and subscribe if you like this content so you can come back and see some more. Alright, thanks for watching. Later.